It's extremely on brand that a couple days before this, I lost my voice because I got sick and now I sound like I'm a Chamberlain. So I think it's a sign. Hey guys, welcome back. So last week, Emma Chamberlain broke the news that she is starting her own coffee company. She came out with these steeped coffee bags that are basically like tea bags, but instead of tea inside the bags, it's filled with ground coffee, which I've never seen before. And I thought was a genius idea because the idea itself seems so simple. So after watching her coffee recipe video, I went on her website and I purchased five coffee bags for $10. After shipping and taxes, my total came out to $15.73. And after about a week of waiting, my Chamberlain coffee is finally here. So here are the coffee bags. I love the packaging. Let's talk about it. I think it's really sleek. I think it's cute. I think it's simple. And on the back, it includes instructions on how to use this. But um, I'm going to actually be following Emma's coffee recipe when I make my own. So I'm excited. I kind of expect a lot because coffee for Emma is her whole brand. That is who she is. And so I expect this to be good. With that being said, let's make some coffee. Oh my god. Literally right when you open the package, you're just hit with this beautiful, like, heavenly. I'm not even exaggerating. Like, it smells so good. Many unbearable hours later. Our coffee is finally ready. So it's the next day, our cold brew has been sitting in my fridge overnight and it is finally ready to drink. So like I said, I got all the products that Emma mentioned in her video in order to like kind of replicate the same exact coffee that she was drinking. So we have our cold brew here. Ooh. Mmm. That smells strong, but it smells good. So I have my own little mason jar that I put some ice in earlier and I'm just going to pour some of the cold brew in there. And then I'm gonna add vanilla almond milk. If I'm being honest, um, oh, almond milk is not my favorite. I do like it, but it's not my favorite. I would have preferred to get oat milk for this, but I kind of wasn't thinking that through. I was kind of just trying to replicate how she did it. So next we're going to put in this Nut Pods almond and coconut creamer that she used. And now we're just going to stir it. So here it is guys. This is Emma's coffee recipe. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Ah, I feel so many emotions. Hmm. This does taste like an almond milk latte. I think it would be even better if it had a little bit, either like a little bit of sugar or maybe like a little bit of like vanilla syrup in it, but it's really, really good. I can taste the, the notes of um, nut because I know that there's notes of chocolate, cherry, and nuts. And at first when I heard that, I was a little bit scared because I was like, uh, cherry in my coffee? I don't know about all that. But for me, it does taste like it's missing something but this is very, very good coffee. I feel like if I had this along with a chocolate muffin or like some type of pastry, a cookie or something, I feel like that would be perfect because this isn't really sweet. I don't like my coffee super sweet, but I like it to have a little bit of sweetness to it. So I feel like this is the perfect drink to go along with a pastry or a dessert of some sort. But honestly, the coffee does taste very smooth, very rich actually. I say I would give this coffee an 8 out of 10 because I don't think I've made coffee at home that tastes this close to like a regular latte that you would buy at a coffee shop. So now let's talk about my thoughts on Chamberlain Coffee as a whole. I think that this was a great business move on Emma's part because she has built herself to be this coffee lover, this coffee expert, and people trust her opinion when it comes to coffee. But I think that this was a perfect step like in the right direction for her. It's nice to see a YouTuber do something that's outside of the box other than selling merch, creating a makeup palette, going on tour. These are all great things that we have seen done before, but I think that Emma really raised the bar 
by starting her own coffee company. And while I have this in my hands, let's talk about this. Um, this packaging and the tea bag is eco-friendly. The website says every bag is nitro sealed inside packaging that is made using compostable and renewable materials, making every cup eco-friendly. Which is also amazing because with K-Pods or like pre-packaged coffee, you would have waste. You'd have cans and plastic left over. And with this, you can just throw it away and it's compostable. I think that this brand has a lot of promise. People were complaining about the price of the bags. I kind of see where they like are a little bit upset that you would have to pay like basically $15 for five bags of coffee. But personally, I feel like that's not that much because if you want like a high quality cup of coffee, not something like from Starbucks or Coffee Bean or whatever, like a high quality cup of coffee would be like a large would be around like $6, $7, which is a lot. But people still pay it. My only complaint is that I don't know why she's selling packs of five when she recommends to put three coffee bags in the cold brew. So I would think that she would want to sell in increments of six instead of increments of five. It just kind of makes more sense. The question that I'm sure everyone wants to know the answer to is would I buy this product again or would I recommend it to someone? Realistically speaking, it's hard for me to say that I would want to buy it again, even though it is good. It's hard to say that I would want to buy it again because I have to wait for it to ship to my house. I don't know if it's always going to be like this, but after I placed my order, I had to wait a week for it to arrive to my house. And I feel like for coffee, like that's just too long of a wait for me when I can literally go down the street and get a cup of coffee for myself. You know what I'm saying? However, I will say that if she does come out with new flavors of the coffee bags, I would love to try it again because I think that this is a delightful little cup of coffee. So I would be interested in trying new flavors. But when I purchase this again, on my own, it's not very likely. Would I recommend for you to try it? I think I would. I think I would say for you to get a pack of five and just try it out for yourself. And if you like it, you can definitely decide if you want to continue to purchase it. I think that it would make a cute little gift for someone that is a fan of Emma Chamberlain's or, you know, someone that loves coffee. I truly love the idea of the little coffee bag. I think it's genius. So I think other people would, would enjoy it as well. But yeah, I hope that answers all your questions about Chamberlain coffee. If I didn't answer a specific question that you had, please feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think of Chamberlain coffee, of the idea of the tea bags. Let me know if you're interested in trying the product as well. I'm very curious to know. But if you made it this long, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Make sure to subscribe down below. I post new videos every single week. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. As always, I love you guys very much, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!